We are in the attic. I hope the rain isn't too loud. But as I, I said before in the video, I had bought two Yamaha RD50s, the DX model, completely in boxes. And this is the second one. <laughs> we have a frame, the engine, piston head, some spare parts, forks. Uh, I'm going to start taking everything down and see what we have and what we don't have. These are the parts I'm having resprayed. I'm going for a Kenny Roberts scheme from his vintage bike he used to race back in the old days. The color is called a competition Yamaha Competition Yellow, going by the code of CPY026, if I remember correctly. It should be really close to RAL 1028. I have some new stickers, I have all the parts. I'm going to bring them to the painter and hopefully I get them back fast. The frame is down. The frame has already been powder coated by the previous owner. It's a little bit dusty, but it's a pretty good job. We're going to give this triple clamp a good wash. We've got the balls here, so you can start reassembling the front fork. While I'm waiting for the parts to dry, I'm going to start assembly of the frame a little bit, bit by bit. I have a new axle for the rear end. I stole a nut of this one for the, the black RD50 because that one was missing a nut. So I am going to have to reorder a new nut, but at least I can start fitting these up. Wait, what? This is wait. Is this a rear axle instead for the reel? That one is shorter. Okay, I have to check. One of the boxes of spare parts for the OD50. And I think this is in fact an axle for the rear wheel, or maybe it's for an RDM instead of the DX model. I'm not sure, I'm not that familiar with these these models. This is shorter, maybe this is the right size. Nope, it's too thick. Same size, different thickness. Seems better. Hey, here we go. So we have to find a nut that fits this. I know I can order these new, but maybe I have some in the box. And also the exhaust, as you can see there, the exhaust still has to fit in between. That's why this bolt has so much stretch. So yeah, I'm going to give these bolts a little clean. I'm not that kind of maniac that re-chromes every bolt and nut. Give them a good clean is fine in my book. Oh shit. Well, not the cleanest anyway. So I was just looking at the frame to start reassembling 
the front end, but I just saw this. This is actually still powder coat that they probably painted in the grease from the fork. So they didn't really clean it up. It's too bad. I'm going to start cleaning this up before I can reassemble the front end. There are actually two hats in this, and they're also different size balls. Oh wait, yeah, the big ones have to go on the bottom part, and the smaller ones are for the top. This is actually the top hat. So when the steering knuckle dries, I can start reassembling this. The triple clamp is all dried up. We got some grease. We're going to start assembling this knuckle so add a bit of grease to this race here the bearing so the balls will actually stay in we have bigger and small balls as you can see here these the big ones go on the bottom the small ones go on the top I think let's check these small ones go in here these fit perfect and the big ones yeah they come out on the side so the small ones are on the top so let's start putting these in This is it. A bit of extra grease for good measure. Here and there, doesn't really matter. I'm also going to grease the race in the frame itself. You can't really add too much grease in this case. So just chuck it in. I'm just going to put this plate on top so it doesn't fall back out. There we go. I think there's one ball too many. Let's get one out. Back in the cup. Or not, this is the actual height, okay. So I just turn them around and they're all spread nicely. There's a tiny gap in here, I don't think this is too bad. I can't fit an actual ball in here, it would start to come out. And that is definitely wrong. Okay, like so. Okay, it doesn't fall out. Perfect. This is one of the top plates. This is the same like this. This is a dirty one, so I'm going to use this one. This is one. Of, this is the top race for the upper roller bearing. The 
it's time to fill it with the smaller balls. Okay, don't think the bottom one is correct. Is it also with tiny balls? Oh no, I think I see the problem. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this on camera, but you can see here, it's a flat spot. And the bearing race is hitting the flat spot. So the axis won't go in completely. Uh, I hope I can open this up a bit without damaging it too much. Make sure not to lose any balls. Because in that case, I'm really screwed. I'm not sure if you can, can see this, but here is a flat spot. This should be entirely round. Uh, it's sad to see this. Uh, so I just flipped the frame, as you can see here clearly now. This flat side is preventing the axis from going all the way in. It's a bummer. So I've added some tape on the front here to protect the paint, or at least try to. I don't think I'll be able to protect it or rescue it. But this has to be repaired. It's definitely doing something. The question will be, is it enough? It's a bit better. I'm going to hit it with the file to take the burrs out because we don't really want that in a bearing. Let's see. If this will go in now. I think, I think that's it. I think it's completely in. And it's not binding up any, or anything. Okay, I think we got lucky. Let's flip the frame again. See the damage, yeah. That's sad. I'll give it a touch up later. Yep, yeah, that's definitely in. Okay, nice. one too many so they hit the sides
Yes, that's it. To tighten this nut, you have this special tool. It's actually for bicycles, but it works pretty good here as well. I have a feeling I need to clean up the thread some more because this nut won't go on. The nut is back on and it's at the correct tension. There's no play, but it's also not too tight so that the bearings have no play to rotate. It's pretty loose, so it's, I think it's fine. The, the freshly painted top hat, so at least we have something that is already getting completed. I'm not going to tighten it fully because I still have to fit the forks in. So just by hand for now. Uh, we can already, we can also maybe already try to clean up these and fit these. Cleaned up the clamps for the handlebars, came out all right. I need a decent polishing machine so I can uh, start polishing to some show finish. But uh, for now, this will do. frame cool I just realized the rear end was in upside down so now it is in correct this is actually mounted to the rear brake to prevent it from rotating when actuating the brake so we have a steering complete and rear end mounted so this will be it for part one thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye